But uh, bitches, welcome back to the offline Move to Glory series. And for me, I'm recording this literally just after King Flipper's open my squad battle awards. So thank you, King Flipper. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate everyone who's come from King Flipper's stream to come watch. Uh, well, I would say my ugly mug, but my mug's not on the screen at the moment. So you'll just have to take my word on that. But I appreciate you guys coming over. Uh, talk to a few of you, all great people. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah guys, uh, didn't pack anything too amazing, and although King Flipper said that it was a bad pack opening, I don't believe that it was, and I'll tell you why now. So, let me just get into it. So, no team of the seasons, which obviously a lot of people really want, um, but two team of the weeks, which, okay, they're not, they're not, oh, what am I doing? They're not the, uh, the greatest looking cards, are they, like... You know, none of them is going to get into a team or anything. But an 81-year-old... 81-year-old? Fucking hell, is he playing for... <laughs> uh, an 81-rated uh, German striker um, in form. You can't, you can't say no to that. Yeah, he's discard. And this guy's definitely going to be discard. But, you know, for dis like, that's 10k each. Like, that's 20k. That's not too bad. Um, and then you've got PK, who... I, let me just quickly uh, use footpin on how much he is he's got pk at oh come on footbin quicker 23 and a half k you got benzema who should be about 20k he's 15k shit man all right 86 is uh, not expensive at the moment uh he also packed did he pack he packed asensio he packed naldo um You guys are like, oh my god, just get to it, I'll do. And I will get to it. Uh, he, he did pack Gamera, but I've just sold Gamera. He packed Polinio, who I didn't even know was an 83. I thought he was an 82, something like 81. Apparently, Okata packed 83. Um, and then he packed some other guys who I've already sold. Um, but, like, you gotta understand, guys, that, like, we get, like, 75k for, like, yeah, there you go. This streamer and Gamera, he also packed that. I just, I've just sold just to get the coins into the uh, the account in a moment. And I also wanted to get a bit of space on here as well. So I'm trying to sell a few things before uh, the hour after squad battle awards, because basically I'm going to do the the bidding method where I'm just going to pick up some cheap golds from Porto. I do it every week. Well, when I can be bothered, still to two o'clock because let's face it, two o'clock is <laughs> freaking like late time at night. I can't do that every day, every week. I got things to do, man. Um, but yeah, uh, I do have one small problem with regards to this week, though, is I am at a wedding um, on Saturday. Um, I don't know why people are being so inconsiderate to get married on a weekend when there's squad battles to be played. I know, dickheads. But what are you gonna do? Um, so if I can either squeeze into the top 100 by missing four games or manage to do the four games around the wedding then I will do so but obviously on the weekends especially it's, it's really difficult to get them all done anyway so I am thinking do I do I even bother like can I be asked and the answer is yeah probably <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys are like yeah he's gonna say no and I said no yeah I'll do it I'll do it uh, so yeah um next thing we really need to consider talking about is where to upgrade the team or even if we do upgrade the team, would you guys rather see a really epic pack opening for, um, I can't think what it's called, ah, marquee matchups, see we get like do a really cool marquee matchups thing, um, I think we'll get another team of the season SBC as well at one point during the week, um, so like, do a few more league SBCs with all this money that we've got, get some get some epic packs and try and pack a Premier League team of the season and fit them into this into this team because personally that's, that's kind of why I'm thinking I think that the, the team's strong enough that we can um, get top 100 again um, is there a point of playing a of like making a new team when we've already got two strong Premier League players that don't need replacing Probably not. Like that's the thing. Like I don't want this, like Road to Glory to get stale. But this team is probably not going to change much. 
like realistically I don't even know really like maybe the herring goal but Vagovic has actually been decent I've been really surprised with him um, I'd love to get Ake's inform which might be expensive and I'd also love to get that as per choir right so my my think my thinking kind of is is instead of like a road to glory and trying out loads of different teams because like I can try loads of different teams on my main account and I can tell you guys exactly how they play and blah 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 so what if I just keep this to Premier League and the aim is to try and get as many sick Premier League players in this team as possible so like try and get team of the season basically everything like maybe we we'll have to go for like Nick Pope or something first or like but like someone like team of the year the hair or team of the season the hair and then like um, Kyle Walker, uh, Aspla Quetta, Otamendi looks alright. I think I got him in my main account actually. I haven't actually looked at the stats though. Um, Robertson, left back, uh, Matic Decore, um, maybe like De Bruyne, you know, and then up front, like Sane and the Sun looks sick, and he's got that five star weak foot as well. So yeah, it could be anyone. But like, does that sound interesting? Like, I don't know, you guys are going to have to let me know. Um, but, realistically, Matic is going to be impossible to put into, like, a... Like, a hybrid. I could, realistically... Sorry, I'm tired because it's late. I could realistically do a hybrid around Decoy. Um, but, I th right, I, right, listen to, listen to this idea, okay? So, I'm thinking of not buying anyone, getting as many packs as I can, okay, hear me out, trust me, trust me, waiting for the League 1 team of the season, where I can fit in some, like, French people, um, and then building a League 1 Premier League hybrid, what do you reckon? That's cool, that sounds cool, okay, we'll do that, we'll do that, and then Matt age, I'll just put on the bench, because fuck him, uh, I have played with him a little bit, he's very clunky, so, yeah. So I reckon we'll stick with this team. Yeah, we'll stick with this team for this week. Uh, it did us well. And I don't think it needs changing. Uh, and then we'll get loads of packs done. And I'll stream... I'll stream some games and I'll stream marquee matchup rewards. And I'll do a massive packet opening then. I'll save up loads of league SBC packs. And then... If we don't get any more team of the seasons, doesn't matter, because we'll try and build a league gun hybrid team with any money that we got left. Does that make sense? I think it does. <laughs> but yeah guys, uh, thank you so much for all your support, as I said, thanks to all the new subs and all the new friends I've got for you. You can tell I'm fucking tired because I'm acting like a dickhead. But yeah guys. Um, a few people have asked me as well for tips on how to do certain things, so I will do, I'm thinking a one tips video a week, so I don't go mental. Um, but I want to start doing more Fortnite stuff, and I know you guys are like, oh for fuck's sake Fortnite, but when H1Z1 comes out, I'll probably play that anyway. Um, and I am actually quite decent at Fortnite as well, so I don't think it would be the worst thing to see. I, I do have loads of Fortnite videos on my channel if you want to check them out. Um, I will, I'm gonna have to like find a way to like present them a bit better. My cat's meowing at something in the kitchen, what the fuck are you meowing at cat? I don't know. Right, <laughs> but yeah guys, before I get killed by a ghost, so <laughs> I'll see you in the next video where we'll probably have loads of facts. Bye bye!